Hey Rod, um, this is Janae. I just wanted to make you a quick video this morning. Um, I hadn't forgotten about you regarding the Tower Garden. I know I sent you that link, but what I've been wanting to do is um, talk to you, call you, um, and or you know, feel free to call me as well. But I know we're all really busy, so I just figured at least this morning I would, I would, um, I would make this video for you. Um, really, just kind of giving you an idea of why I what what have me buy this tower. Um, and you know what it's been like to have it. So I actually was um, in Whole Foods one day. I did a lot of juicing, had a lot of vegetables in my cart. So a really nice lady that um, I knew of, I've seen her many times before she's helped me, before she worked there. She saw me carting all these veggies around when I had asked her a question and she's like, let me show you something. And so she flashed a picture at me that looked like this. Um, and she had just actually gotten started with her tower garden too. So she told me all about it. And I mean, bef before she even said anything about it, I just saw the picture and I wanted it because <laughs> I, you know, really strive to live a healthy lifestyle. And, um, so it was something that, you know, was like a no brainer for me. And, and since then I have not been in Whole Foods with a cart full of vegetables because I've got a ton. So, um, all right, so this this tower garden is five hundred and twenty four dollars without the lights, without that uh, roll away dolly, um, and what else? And without this um, this lattice here, which is necessary when you have viney vegetables like tomatoes and this is cucumber right here. This is tomatoes right there so you know to have them buying around and hook around is really um kind of a challenge you know they, they would just be like laying in my room <laughs> um so you could do this indoors or you could do it outdoor um it took me about an afternoon when i say like an afternoon i mean like two and a half three hours to put together um and the minimal tools it's actually quite easy this base requires 20, um, getting my, my um, volumes wrong, is it gallons? Yes, 20 gallons of water. So I have like two jugs, like two, um, and I could show you two, two buckets, two five gallon buckets. And I just, um, I have some purified water because you only want to use clean water. I just actually, have a funnel and a tube and I just put my purified water from the sink in them and then I just pour them all in. You have some food. I should have that with me right now, but I can take pictures of it. Some food that they give you, you put, uh, it's really all of, all of the nutrients from the ground that you know they, they have for just the garden in liquid form. You put it in the base. And then um, this right here, there's a pump. Um, that this the the gray the this gray wire here it leads into the base and there's a pump and in the middle of that gray mechanism there's um a timer that you can set or, or like little little um let's see if i can get it off here it's like little levers that you can set and that is the timer so the timer um, makes it so that the pump actually every 15 minutes, for 15 minutes every hour, you can't really see it, it goes off, but you set, you set that, and, that, and they give you the recommendations. So every hour, um, the water, the pump goes and the water goes from the base to the, up the tower to the top. And at the top, if I, well, okay, so there's some little holes when you take this part off and the water actually goes up through those holes and then back down um, and it washes over the roots. The reason this thing grows so great is because it's getting nutrients constantly, unlike really when it grows from the ground, it's just not getting nutrients that uh, prevalently and also nutrients from the ground just are not, I mean, it's what we put for fertilizer, but it's not, the soil is pretty deficient. So um, it makes it kind of quick growing in the tower. 
So like I said, you could do this indoor or you could do this outdoor. Um, the, there's also another timer here. And that's for the lights, the grow lights. So if you have an indoor like I do, then the grow lights will be on. Um, I've got it set for um, 6 a.m. until 7 p.m. So I just go with the sunlight. All right, so you, I think you've seen the vegetables, but when you're indoor, the grow lights will give you a certain spectrum of light that will grow like the lettuce and this is arugula, this is the bib lettuce. I've got my gourmet lettuce and we just had a huge memorial um, dinner where I, I was the salad maker. Everybody was like, you need to give, make the salad for memorial, um, the, our memorial dinner, our barbecue. So, you know, they wanted to try Tower Garden salad, which everybody absolutely loved because it's so full of flavor. Um, so we did do that. I've got, um, really it makes like a, almost like a spring mix, a big bag um, I brought over there and then we, we enjoyed that. Um, but here's the thing. So I've got also some cilantro on here. Where's my cilantro? So we've made plenty of guacamole. And, I, and it's growing back out. So I cut it down when I need it. And then it grows back like within days, which I love that. Um, here's my oregano, which is going crazy right now. And I can't wait to put that in some uh, spaghetti sauce or um, whatever. I'm trying to think of the first way I'm going to use my oregano. Um, but see here, things like this. This is um, peppers and watermelon, which I have seen that grow for others. And then um, I got the tomatoes here. Where are they at? Here's the tomatoes. Now, um, and the cucumber. So I, I've got a little cucumber here growing and they're starting to grow in. But one thing that I learned is that without the full spectrum of light outside, the fruiting vegetables take a long time. And when they do, uh, get, when they do start growing, they don't grow as strong as they could. So I am going to, to move my garden outside for those because I didn't know in the beginning, um, but people do have, um, they do get fruiting from their tomatoes and cucumbers. It's just not as much indoors as it would be outdoors with the full spectrum of light. But for all leafy greens and herbs, this garden is crazy indoors. So I'm just going to experiment with it and, and take it outdoors. But this is an extremely fruitful garden. Um, my garden loves me. And I, I should show you some of these other plants I have around. They do not love me. <laughs> but the great thing is that there's no bugs. There's, you know... Um, it was, especially when it's it was, when it's indoors, it's like you don't have to deal with elements or anything. It's just a very tranquil experience. You just come downstairs. We actually have our um, our little scissors, our kitchen scissors, and we just come and we just clip our herbs and our our lettuce and make our salads, and it's and it's awesome. So I just wanted to. I was thinking about you, and I just wanted to send this to you, but. Uh, like I said, my number is 919-520-4776. Um, Give me a call if you're interested or if you've got any questions at all. Um, yeah, let, just let me know. Let me know any questions you have. I also um, am a representative now. And mainly it's because I believe in it so much. I think for me, the most important thing is, is really um, healthy fruits and vegetables, healthy food, clean food, the best food. And I know the best is completely uh, fortified soil that's growing, you know, your, your vegetation at optimal, you know, optimally. So, I mean, really for me, it's the farms and that have been regenerative. That's ideal, but I can't always access that. And um, the farmer's market is where I would go. And so I still do, would do that. But this is the next best, best thing for me. Because what I've learned is that in the grocery stores, even organic, 
they do things like bleach their vegetables and it's industrial, you know? And so even though they're cleaner than just regular grocery stores, they're still so industrial that you get like 50 to 75% less nutrition. And with this, I get, I get all my nutrition. Nothing is bleached. You know, the nutrients are going into the, the um, plant and it's getting full. And that's what I want. I want power. I want, you know, health. I don't want 50 to 75% less nutrition. So anyway, that's a long, long video, but I figure hopefully um, I didn't bore you to death with, with my details, but um, I'm enjoying this a lot and was moved enough to become a representative. And with, for you with Juice Plus, that's some, a part of it that I'm learning. This just, this made me, this floored me, but I'm hearing some awesome things about Juice Plus. I just have to learn about that. I'm, um, you know, that, that's one one step that I need to go to, I guess. But really, this is my, my baby right now. And so let me know if you're interested. Um, you could give me a call and we can talk more. Um, I uh, could give you more details, um, anything that, that you feel you need. All right. Thank you, Rod. And say hi to Kezia and Jasmine and your beautiful babies and grandbabies. I just love Facebook because I get to keep up. Um, but but it, everybody looks like they're doing so good and um, would love to see you guys. But anyway, everyone here is good. Don's good. The girls are good. We're moving forward. So you take care and let's talk soon. All right. Bye-bye.